what's going on y'all welcome back it's us let's get productive so baby audio yes we're talking about baby audio again i know i spoke about them last week with the smooth operator plugin but like what the f what, what y'all what super, what superhero juice y'all sipping on what y'all doing over there what gasoline they putting in y'all tank to help y'all do what y'all do because they really work in like a well-oiled machine over there they keep banging out plugins that are just of superb quality and they just put out a new plugin called tape now like last week when it came to smooth operator and i was talking about their ai technology and um all of the really cool smart things they have going on with their algorithms tape is another plugin that they put out that has ai technology so yes there are other plugins out there that can get you that retro warmth tape saturation effect but this one does it with that baby audio AI technology. So we're gonna jump right into this review and we're gonna talk all about tape, all of the really cool things Baby Audio has in store for you when it comes to this plugin. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So let's get right into it. Tape, Baby Audio, let's do it. So as always, I have Logic queued up and this is tape. Now, I always talk about Baby Audio's UI design. I love their continued callbacks to previous plugins with the style of their UI designs. They're all very similar, but they just have little tweaks here and there to give each plugin its own attitude and its own characteristics. And tape is no different. It's really cool. Baby Audio definitely infused their well-known attention to detail when it comes to the look, the style, and the overall presence of their plugins, just giving you a really cool, high-resolution, beautiful image that you can resize so you can make it smaller or bigger. And, you know, always looking very futuristic and clean and simple. I think that's the main thing when it comes to Baby Audio is making the user experience as simple as possible. Now, they do that with the UI design, but they also do that on the technological end when it comes to their AI embedded within the algorithm. So they do a lot of the work behind the scenes inside of the plugin so that you can just focus on having fun with the plugin and just saturating your sound and making it sound as cool as you want it to make. So I would say that those are the key differences between this retro tape plugin and other tape machine plugins that you might get. Like all the other plugins, if you click Baby Audio, you can bypass the plugin. And they have three different themes, three different color themes here for you to choose from. So you have your black theme here. I call this the Batman theme. You got the, 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 the midnight Batman theme going on right here. In the middle here, you have your gray. And then you have your light gray to white, off-white kind of. Now, going over all of the different settings they have inside of the plugin, each one does a very specific thing to help you get the sound that you're looking for. So we'll just start off by going over what some of these things do. Up here, you have your drive section. Drive um, amplifies that saturation. So if you really want your sound to sound heavily saturated with that tape machine effect, all you have to do is turn the drive knob up, turn it down, and it will help you get that. Over here on the right in the output section, output is basically what it is. The mix knob kind of acts in parallel to your wear knob. So you can kind of get a nice flanging effect if you toggle between the two. And that's a really cool effect to have. Over here you have noise. So if you turn this fader up, you can introduce some tape noise into the background. Over here you have glue, which is kind of like a compressor. So you can get some slight glue on the effect side or you can really turn it up and use it as a hardcore compressor. Over here you have wear, which combines uh, a wow effect and a flutter effect to get you like an altered frequency and, and really get you that authentic wow tape sound thing you know what i'm talking about a worn get you that worn tape sound that's what that's going to do over here on the right you have presence now presence really deals with the higher frequencies of that sound it kind of um amplifies that section of your audio signal and you have your high shape fader and your low shape fader you can toggle between these two faders to choose to either add more or less saturation to the high end or more or less saturation to the low end. So that's what those two faders are for. Right here you have single and dual. Now single is basically what it sounds like. It's one tape simulator and dual is a combination of two tape simulators working together, both sharing half of the drive value. 
and over here in the center you have drive auto gain now if you have drive auto gain turned on no matter how much drive you add to your audio signal this setting is going to do a great job at keeping your audio signal balanced no matter how aggressive you apply uh, that setting hot is basically what it sounds like it's just allowing you to have a bit more distortion on that audio signal and that's it as far as settings go on this thing very simple very straight to the point like I said the goal isn't to supply you with a headaches worth amount of settings on your plugin the goal is to make the user experience simple so that it's fun but still give you high quality effect and that's what this thing does so the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna jump into a little cook up I'm gonna make a really simple beat we're just talking melody and drums because I really just I want to make the beat simple to show you how you can saturate a very simple beat with this plugin and get a really nice, clean, cool sound. So right here, I have some chords already put together here. Um, I use a very, I use a simple Steinway Grand Piano. I'm going to play the chords for you so that you can hear what the chords sound like without the tape saturation on. Yeah, so like I said, very simple. So now we're gonna go right over here to tape. We're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna reset all the settings so we can really start from scratch here. Um, we're gonna play it with tape turned on. And it's already going to work. And we're gonna mess around with some of these settings to try to get a, a cool sound out of this thing. So let's see what we can do here. Let's see. So I'm just turning up the drive. I'm gonna turn it up really aggressive just to hear what's happening with the drive. And then I'll dial it back when I, you know, when I like what it's doing, I'll dial it back to get it sounding a bit more normal and not so chaotic. And now that I have the drive sitting where I want the drive to sit, I'm gonna to toggle between the high shape and the low shape to shape, to shape, the high shape and the low shape to shape. I'm gonna to toggle between the high shape and the low shape to sh really decide where I want that drive to sit. If I want it to sit more on the low end or I want it to sit more on the high end. So let's do that real quick. And also I have, as far as the, um, the mode is concerned, I have it set on dual instead of single. You know, as far as as far as tape emulators go, that's a mode I haven't seen on a lot of other tape emulators. So I just figured I'd use it now since it's here on this one. So let's check it out. Just added a bit more presence to it. Let me toggle the mix a little bit so I can I can adjust how much of the effect I want to be applied to the audio signal. And then, like I said earlier, it's if I start messing with the where in this plugin the mix knob is going to act parallel to that so it's also going to add a bit of of a of a you know a flanging effect so that should be cool too so let's see what all of this is about here let's 
turn up the wear. Well, let's turn up the we'll turn up the noise at the end, but let's let's mess with the wear a little bit. Turn up the noise a little bit. Turn up the glue, add a bit of compression. Now I'm going to use hot just to see how it sounds on the aggressive end. Nah, I like it without hot. Let me see what single sounds like. And I like that setting right there. As always, when it comes to Baby Audio plugins, you can always save your own preset. So I'm gonna save this preset just because I like how it sounds. I'm gonna call it Ars Magic. Boom, that's in there. And I'm gonna add the tape plugin to the drums that we make on this as well. Let's see, hi hats. Let's make up a 16 bar pattern. Okay. Let's add a kick. Or actually open hat. So I'm just putting this together real quick. Let's see if this is on beat. Let's do another kick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the audio from all of these tracks to one bus track, and then I'm gonna add tape to that bus track, and we're gonna see how it affects the drums. So let's, there we go. All right, there we go. Drums a little bit dirtier. No, I need that. And then after. 
after that, I'll add a compressor. Matter of fact, let's use um, the iHeart New York compressor. That's another baby audio plugin. track spacer to this piano to kind of side chain the piano a little bit against the drums against the kick rather presence in the mid. There we go. And that's it, man. Are we going to just play the piano with nothing on it? And then we'll turn tape on and I just added a little bit of that tape effect on this piano. Gave it a bit more grit, a bit more life. It was breathing a little bit more with that with that airiness provided by the noise effect in tape. And uh, it sounds great. The one thing I would say about tape, something I, I, I feel very strongly about after using it is there's definitely room for all. I don't think that this thing is meant to replace all tape emulators. I don't think they made this with that in mind. I think they took a completely different approach. They're not trying to drive down the same lane as other tape emulators. You can still have other tape emulators. I mean, hell, you can use other tape emulators along with this one. What their aim is, or what I feel their aim is here, isn't to replace tape emulators, but it's to be an alternative. It's to be uh, another option for you if you're trying to get a different kind of warmth and a different kind of sound a bit quicker due to their AI technology that's working and their algorithm that's working 
behind the UI. And I think having that option is necessary. And I won't just say that with tape. I'd say that with the plug-in market in, in, in general. I think there is definitely something happening with the whole AI deal. Um, there are a lot more plugins that are becoming AI driven. And then, you know, you see people getting heated about this whole thing. It's turning into a whole debate about like how far is too far. And at what point does technology just completely abolish creativity? I don't think that's what it's doing. What I think is happening is there are options being provided. If you're someone who's a truly creative individual, you love options. And I think options are a good thing. And I think that's where tape is hitting. Tape is an answer to other tape emulators. It's a it's an option along with other tape emulators. And I think it's something that you guys should definitely check out. So in closing, as always, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.